One of the most important things to creating realistic renders is having good textures. And people like Ian Huber do this incredibly well to create insanely photorealistic renders. But here's the thing, everyone knows the hack for realism is to take things out of real life, like textures, and transform them into 3D assets, like Ian Huber does all the time. Places like textures.com provide these pictures, and they're great, but I've always wondered, is there a way to do it myself? Because if I could, not only does that give me full control of how it looks, but it means I don't have to pay for all these expensive assets anymore. So here's what I found. Two years ago, I uploaded a video about how to do this, but the software I used in it has since gone out of date. After that, however, I received an email from a dude who claimed that he had made a brand new website that not only actually worked, but was better than the old one. But was he telling the truth? Well, there's only one way to find out. So the first step of creating your own texture is doing the unthinkable and stepping outside. And when you do, you want to take a picture picture of whatever it is you hope to make into a texture. For me, I'm going to try some of the pavement over here on the sidewalk. And by the way, ideally you'd wait for an overcast day as that typically produces the best results. So now it's time for step two, actually turning our photo into something we can use. And that's where this new software comes into play. Simply go to the website and drag and drop the photo you've just taken into it. And once you do, all you got to do is line up these corner pins to the texture you're trying to create. So in this case, I'm doing the four corners of the sidewalk. And once that's done, you can click here, adjust the sizing and export it to your computer. Now, lastly, let's fire a blender and finish this whole thing off. Of course, we now have a great image texture ready to go, but we still need to make it look realistic. And for this, I'm going to shamelessly plug the new version of my quick shader add-on, which literally will set up everything for you. All you have to do is import your image texture, click one button, and it'll set up all the rest. Which obviously you can do yourself, but this is a huge time saver and the link will be down below. And that's it, you've created your own texture, you can use for whatever you want, you can even sell it if you want to make some money, but thank you guys so much for watching, and if you've been wondering where I've been for the past like 6 months, I posted a little update in my Discord. But besides that, check out Sand Ripper, check out the new version of my add-on, and I'll see you soon. Peace.